Hi, you guys. So whenever donkeys are new coming in, we do a little inventory, a little assessment, height, weight, age, kind of to see uh, where they're at in terms of their health and what we need to do with them. Hi. How's everything, huh? How's everything? Kid, kid. to see how many of his adult teeth come in and adult teeth come in at two and a half three and a half and four and a half years old so he's a five-year-old donkey so he's about 45 and a half I'm only going to give him a shot for tetanus today to protect him against tetanus. And tetanus, you know, is something you get if you get poked by a rusty nail or something. But it also is is the thing we do before he have a, has a dental because the speculum that's in his mouth is metal. And the tools that they use are metal. So in case he were to get a nick or something, which could happen even in a great dental. So I gave him a tetanus shot. We're not gonna give him a vaccination today for a lot of other things because it's November here and um, our flies and mosquitoes are gone. And a lot of the things that we normally vaccinate for in the spring and summer, we do so to protect them against things carried by flies and mosquitoes. Parasite control, of course, is always really important. Um, when they pick up manure or feces, um, they sometimes pick up um, little parasites that get into their intestine, and he um, probably hasn't had any uh, deworming to try to help his gut be a little cleaner, so we're gonna get him started. It's put in the mouth, and just shoot it in. He sucks on it, swallows it. Julie gives him another cookie, so he's all good to go. It's the She's older. So, so this donkey has a seven year hook that comes on a side incisor and it lasts about seven, eight, nine years. So we don't know exactly how old it is, so we're gonna split the difference and call her an eight year old. This little girl didn't have a name when she came in, so we all got together, didn't we? And we think thought of a name for her. What's her name, Julie? Georgetta. And it's going to be Georgie Gal. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Can we sing? Can we sing the song? I'll get the words. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Mama. Let's just see where we're at here. This has been packed in here for a very long time, which means that the bottom of her hoof is not making contact with the ground. I don't know this donkey and um, she reportedly um, doesn't have any hoof skills so I'm using good caution I'm in here I'm close to her um, but I'm trying to get to know I'm watching how she reacts to me to see if um, I need to be concerned about getting kicked so I'm letting her know I'm here and I'm gonna be touching her Good job, girl. Good job. Good job. Good job. You're okay. You're okay. So their hooks grow about a quarter of an inch a month, but then they wear down a little bit too every month when you walk on them. So this is about a year, year of growth. 
And you can see the white, I'm finally getting down to sole. Everything up go. until that point was just or something. Run over you. Yep. Okay. Oh, never mind, she was perfect. <laughs> Nice donkeys. You're very nice donkeys. In here so that he doesn't hurt himself and he doesn't hurt me. So he's got room, he's moving, these bars aren't touching him, but he's a little bit confined, so he's not in a position where he could kick me or bite me or hurt me, and so it gives me the opportunity to desensitize him and to show him what a great hand I've got and how I can itch him and scratch him and how I can really do something for him that he might like instead of being afraid of me. His head down. There he goes, he's got it. The whole idea of putting a halter on, and it's all new to him. He's a baby, he's immature, he's got a really short attention span. He's already softening up a little bit. He can tell this is okay. So now I have a halter on him and I have a lead rope, which means I have more control so I can handle him even more without any fear of getting kicked. So now I don't need this separation of the panel between us. And so now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell him I'm going to be close to him. But I'm the human, I'm going to be close to him. And he's not going to get hurt or injured or killed. This is a good thing. I've got my body energy and my weight and I'm touching him. And he's not dying. Nothing bad is happening. Ideally, when you have donkeys, you do this when they're one hour old or three hours old or 10 hours old. And then you do it every day from day one, two, three, four, and five. And when you do this when they're first born, you don't have to do this when they're big like this because they're already used to humans and they trust us. You're a good man. You're a really good man. Yeah, I rub them all over. Got little mats on his belly that need to be brushed out because he's never been brushed in his life. So what I was looking for to see if his um, testicles have descended. So a donkey can't be um, neutered until the, their testicles have been descended. Yeah, he did it, he did it, he did it, he did it. You're okay, you're okay. Yeah, he's okay, he's okay. needle but it fell out of him so he's okay but it dirtied my needle so I need a new needle so I'm gonna put a new needle on so I don't have to worry about any dirt contamination on it.
I cut line. So. Fantastic job today. You're wonderful. Um, Davi is making a brand new donkey out of this donkey, giving her. Oh. This is fantastic. Honestly, no. Uh, I don't know. A parasympathetic response. Thanks. I did his job really well, and he said, "Ah." Yeah. It was a big, a big cut. So we just got pregnancy results from Georgetta and you can see there that if it's greater than 20, it, she is pregnant. So we got a baby.
go. All right. <laughs>